<laughs> well, I am a proud Hindu. Till a few years ago, all Diwali ads of all corporate companies would have very identifiable symbols of Deepavali, which were basically the identifying symbols of Hindu dharma. But slowly, slowly, in the recent four five years, first diyas went out, then rangoli went out, then flowers went out, and the bindi was the last visible symbol to be uh, taken out of Diwali ads. And it was almost like all the brands were saying that we want the Hindus to spend money, we want your money, but we are not willing to respect your symbols, we are not willing to respect your way of life. They wanted Diwali to be one consumerist orgy where people would just buy gifts, mindless gifts and strip Diwali of all Hindu symbolism, which is what really bothered me. So no bindi, no business. The hashtag became an actual people's movement so much so that many brands were forced to either recall their ads or add a bindi by Photoshop in their advertisement for Diwali. Definitely no firecrackers and I don't think anyone should light any firecrackers. Everybody thinks they are activists, they and their grandmothers are activists and everybody thinks it's okay to give gyan to Hindus and Hindus only. Which is why every small thing from how much water you can use for Abhishek is also decided by courts to who can go to a temple or not that is also decided by the court to how many uh, lights, how many firecrackers can a Hindu light is also decided by courts. So where is this going to stop next? How many liters of oil am I allowed to use uh, for my diyas every year? Yeah, where is this going to stop? Where is this activism going to stop? And why is it only for Hindu festivals? Why is nobody talking about the environmental impact of illegal slaughter of animals during Bakrid? Why is no court passing a judgment on that? Why is nobody talking about the millions of trees and the candles that are lit during Christmas or the fireworks that are done on 31st December? So those are the fireworks that emit oxygen. Don't use my festivals as an occasion to do your social activism. Wo mera festival hai, wo mera tyohar hai. Aapka social activism ka agenda nahi hai. It's only in India that you can call Diwali Jashne Rivaz and call Diwali Ki Soga Taufaye Khas and get away with it. It's only in India that you can show women who are dressed in mourning clothes and looking sad and glum and say that this is a festival of joy. What joy? What festivities? But I can see change on ground. I can see change in brand behavior. This is the first time that the agenda was set by the Hindus. Otherwise, it's always somebody insults your traditions and then you keep reacting and you waste a lot of energy in that. It's a victory of the average Hindu who has started realizing that I push back and say enough is enough. That is the success of no bindi, no business. Hi, I am Shefali Vaidya. I am a proud Hindu. So I request all of you to be proud Hindus, to be assertive, to be proud of your traditions, to be proud of your culture, to be proud of your symbols because being Hindu is being free.